Hey everyone, welcome back to Aquaponic Gardens. Um, a few of my customers have asked me to do an update on my filter and a rundown on how I've put it all together and how this whole system is working. My system is set up on commercial standards. Um, I am a professional aquaculture farmer here in Switzerland and I also do aquaponics. As you can see on my tanks, these are my fish tanks, there's 1000 litre IBC tanks. Um, I use a 110 millimeter outflow and on the inside of the fish tank you see my outflow is simply connected so it runs the water comes from the bottom 110 millimeter up the top T piece just for overflow in case we have a blockage in the bottom in the bottom of the pipe um, we're going to see it but I've just got an end cap on there with a lot of many holes I could drill in it. There you also see some more holes at the first safety overflow. The water simply comes up there, overflows into this pipe, and runs all the way down to the other end and into my swell filter, vortex filter, swell filter. All the tanks are hooked up exactly the same. These are set so they're on a bit of a 45 degree angle this gives the water a bit of a shove along uh, make sure there's no um, speeds up the water a little bit so we get better water flow going through it goes down around the corner and into my swell filter swell filter set off on a 45 degree angle the inflow gets the poo up around the back and by the time it gets to here there's very little poo running this is my 200 micron, um, basically do, uh, do it yourself filter. Um, I didn't build this one, I got it from a company in Germany. It basically works that when the poo comes along, it goes through the 200 micron sieve on the side. You can see there, um, there's a little bit of poo stuck on the side there. No matter. How it works is this pump here sucks water, clean water, out of the bottom of the um, filter there, you see the hole just down there, sucks clean water out of there, goes into the pump there, pumps the water back up, around, and into these four arms. Um, these arms, as you can see, squirt water out, they have many holes going down to the bottom, they push the water out and keep the filter, all the shit, the poo, constantly um, away from the. It's constantly cleaning the sieve, so there's no poo blocks up and um, um, stops the water flow. And even if that did happen, it would just overflow over the top here and into here. I'd end up with a bit of poo going through into my bio filter. Once this water's cleaned, all this water in here, as you can see, is uh, clean. Um, 200 microns is about as big as a um, human hair on your head. And clean water goes down that pipe, gravity fed. And through here, you see a pipe down there. Comes through there. And here you won't be able to see the pipe. Just underneath all the bio moving, the bio media, the moving bio bed media. This is a um, 12 millimeter virgin virgin material, which is um, it's not recycled. I got 100% new material. At the moment, it's still getting a bit, still getting cycled. Um, the back, the ammonia and nitrate nitrites are nearly on zero. Um, I only have tilapia in the tanks at the moment, and very little. And I have so much water that it doesn't really affect them. There's 400 litres of biomedia in here. Works out to about 3,500 to 4,000 square metres of surface area. Um, it's enough to hold about 80 kilograms per cubic metre of fish in each tank. This here is a 60 litre a minute air pump. Simply pumps air down through these hoses. I want to do a few modifications, but at the moment it's doing its job. And this keeps the biomedia circulating and self-cleaning. 
taking out all the dead bacteria which then land on the bottom of this tank and I can siphon it off just through the outlet there I just hook up a hose to it, run it outside into my veggie garden and they're just going to feed of um, dead bacteria and some nitrates same in this tank here when the pre builds up you can see it's uh, building up over there um, let's play a little deposit down there once this builds up a bit I normally leave it in there for a few days um, depending on how many fish I'm stocking and then I just siphon it off with a pump I have a pump hooked up to a hose with a bit of PVC on the end I'll give you a, an update on that the next time I do it um, and just simply just suck all that poo out and pump it straight outside of my garden um, after the bio filter there's another PVC roll, another 110 millimeter. You can sort of see the red, the orange pipe that runs this direction, and then out through the wall there. This inlet from down here runs straight here. This is water coming in. This water gets stirred around over here. There's another PVC pipe full of holes, so um, small holes, so no biometer can get in there. Same here, biometer can't go backwards, it's capped off and it's just got holes in the pipe so it allows enough water through. Um, I've got it worked out, to, um, it's running about 16,000 litres an hour at the moment. Um, gives me a circulation of my tanks of three times, two and a half to three times every hour. Um, take it, sorry, sorry. This is. Um, Aquaponics, my sump tank actually. I ignore that pipe over there. That's from a previous system. This is my pump pipe, fresh water, going all the way back down the other end, down through the heater to one kilowatt, 1000 watt heater. Um, water temperature is about 24 degrees at the moment. Then it comes back along these pipes all the way and pumps into each tank individually. In this um, bed here. I'm going to grow some salads and so um, to help filter out a bit of the nitrates. Underneath of it, if you can have a look, you'll see the water is crystal clear. There's no poo, not a drop of anything there due to my good micron filter. Um, I never have any need to filter this at all. Um, it's a very, very good system. Water comes in there, bit of an angle, blows it up the back there, so if there was any dead bacteria make it through and say, so, they should settle out a little bit in there, they will do eventually. And hopefully my plant roots will take up a few of these as well, produce, turn them into plant feed. Up across all the back of the tanks there, you see I've cut the lids in, like, I haven't opened the tanks right up. Will also be NF, or deep water culture NFTs. Um, we've got some special rectangular pipe coming uh, hopefully next week. I'm a bit busy this weekend, got to go pick up some new fish, um, some Mozambique tilapia. Good enough power to sink a battleship, um, 400 volts, 32 amps. Um, there will be also PVC pipes running up across the back of this wall over here, up across the roof there, up nice and high. Another, I think I'll fit another in total, I fit about five, six hundred plants in this room, maybe even a bit more if I get my workings right. There will also be PVC running all the way across the back of all these tanks. Um, the distance from the wall to the back there is about 50 to 60 centimeters, so I should get a lot, a lot of plants in there. Um, I'll update that next week as soon as I'm done. Um, hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it's been a bit helpful. See if we can get a quick look at the tilapia. There's one over there. There's not many in here. Um, this is a 12 volt pump. I don't know if anyone saw it in my last video. Um, this is my emergency uh, air supply. It runs 24 hours a day. It runs off a battery. Um, and the battery is hooked up to a car charger. Um, it produces 120 litres a minute on only 60 watts of power. I bought it from Hong Kong. It was actually Australian, like Australian made, so called. There's a nice couple of tilapias in there. 
Um, at the moment, I've just got breeders in here in every tank. I don't have a lot of fish anymore. Sold them all up again. Um, uh, it doesn't take long for I have all my stocks going again. Um, I want to produce about 1 to 1 1.5 tons of fish in here per year. I have breeder tanks upstairs as well. Fish are a bit scared due to the light on the camera. That's the air coming out of that air pump. The big stone down there. Um, not too much water comes out of each one of my tanks. That's a lot of water. But, um, coming out of that hole there must be three and a half to four thousand liters an hour. Um, so it really rotates this. No, it's about three thousand liters an hour. Sorry, two and a half to three thousand liters an hour. But um, it definitely rotates the water very quickly. It gets a good uh, circulation happening. I take you outside here. Out oh, there is outside, which is um, minus five degrees at the moment Celsius. It's bloody freezing, even in my cellar here. This is my emergency power supply. Um, it runs my air pump for about 13 hours. It's the longest I've done it so far, and I still didn't slow down. Um, so I'll allow 10 hours for my emergency supply. Um, the battery will get older. Um, the battery is hooked up to this battery charger, special battery charger from Pilot there. Um, this runs on a maintenance charge, which runs on a very low voltage. Um, it's good for the battery. If you just get a normal battery charger, you end up burning out your battery. Um, it just will die after a while. Um, you should talk to somebody before you set one up. I was uh, luckily I've worked on a lot of boats and so on. I know how these chargers work their best. Try and check out this one. It's really good actually. Um, okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed that update and um, yeah, hope you can learn something or give me some feedback if you've got an idea where how I can improve the system a little bit better. Um, I'm always, yeah, I love to have some good advice, like uh, this is all built on good advice. This is my one kilowatt heater, just a little beauty. Um, doesn't run all day. Probably runs about four hours a day to keep my water up to temperature. Um, took me about four days to get it up to temperature, and then now it just um, runs on next to no power. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my ideas. Believe me, this is the type of filter you want. You need a micron filter. You need um, that poo to really be cleaned out of your system before it gets to your bio filter. Okay, guys. Have a nice afternoon, have a nice weekend, catch you later.